welcome to another episode of Nerds Are Us, and uh, I am here with the lovely Jams. Hello. And the lovely Jen. Hello. Our um, cute as a button Rachel is in Portland this weekend, so she will not be joining us, but um, we wanted to get together and have a chat about... Um, all of the cons coming in July, D23 and SDCC, which we're obviously not the only insane people because it seems D23 is um, going to be extra popular and crowded this uh, season because of SDCC happening um, the weekend after. So we are taking over Cali, safe to say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So we wanted to talk about the number one thing that we are excited for um, at D23, um, at Disneyland, because we're going to venture into Disneyland for a day, because you can't not do that when you go to California, (laughs) and um, the number one thing for SDCC, and we're just going to go around the table and talk about that, and we'll have a little mini announcement um, for a giveaway that has been going on and is almost at its end for for D23. And let's start with jams. Um, definitely looking forward to the tangled panel. I was so excited when they announced that I am also looking forward to jumping into the money pit, the DuckTales money pit. So those are kind of a, a tie for things that I'm looking forward to at D23. That is going to be so much fun. <laughs> that um, that whole DuckTales experience, it's like, we're, we're never individually going to ever have, like, a vat of gold that we can just jump into, so. <laughs> 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 I'm a long-standing fan. We'll need to win the lottery first in order for that to happen. Sure, sure. But I'm sure there's some sort of weird exchange fee to change all of your money into, like, gold coins. <laughs> gold coins Probably. that are safe enough for you to jump into. So I think these are a little softer. Yeah. <laughs> Which I'm sure they are because they don't want to get sued over anything. So. Sure, yeah. I'm still, th- I'm still trying to come up with, like, a pose to jump into the thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think I'll just copy my, uh, my pose I did in front of the Universal Studios globe fountain thingy. Was that just, like, your leap or whatever? My leap thing? Yeah. yeah. And, and funnily enough, um, for that one, uh, it was first thing in the morning going to that photo, and uh, Freddie was like, "Go, just go stand there, and 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 I'll t- I'll take your photo." I was like, "Okay." I was like, "You ready?" And he was like, "Yeah." All right, count to three. <laughs> and when he took it on one shot, the first shot. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, and he didn't he didn't know that I was going to be jumping, and I decided like, "Well, just do a jumping photo." It's just that's cool. I wasn't planning on it. Yeah. I'm just reading on whether to do, like, like a dainty faint <laughs> and just, like, fall in, Ooh. all faint-like, or... <laughs> yeah. Uh, Except yeah, not... enter butt first, not head first. That might be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, and then the Tangled panel, that, yeah, it'll, it'll be great to see Zach and, um... Hopefully he'll he'll be able to see all of us, and hopefully we'll all be like in a row, and it'll be like a mini HQ thing. Well, I don't know because all the really good seats, like the first few rows, are for those sorcerer sure, holder sure. Yeah, right. And then it, <laughs> and this is me watching a lot of Christian <laughs> videos. Christian yeah, a lot of videos. Which, by the way, shout out to Christian Milan. You make awesome videos. Thank you for making all your tips and hints and tricks and all for 20. You're awesome. Um, but it looks like they're, they're going to split the, the room up. Mm-hmm. So we'll see. We'll see where we end up. Yeah, we'll see where we end up. We can all be rose if it if it if we end up being in different spots maybe we can all at least like stand up and like wave our nurture or something <laughs> <laughs> yeah probably 
Um, okay, so Jen, what's your number one thing that you're looking forward to? Um, not gonna lie, that Shang and uh, Mulan doll set. <laughs> aside, aside from the Tangled panel, I just, I don't, okay, it, granted, it'd be nice if I could get one, mm-hmm. get the set, mm-hmm. but in all honesty, if I don't, that's okay too, then I save myself $130. Right. <laughs> I could buy me a pair, two pairs of shoes of that, but, um, uh, it's like, them, like, oh my god, it looks so beautiful, because it looks beautiful, yeah, and, they're gorgeous, beautiful. and it's like, it's like, it's straight from the animated movie. Sure, yeah. No, the, the, that's Shang doll, though. Right? It's a beautiful doll. Mm-hmm. 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 So there's that, and um, and yeah, same like the tangle panel, and and I'm weirdly enough, I'm not. I'm usually not excited about like overnight stays, but the fact that we're all talking about like, yeah, let's see if we could do this overnight thing, <laughs> or um, the live action panel. <laughs> that we're possibly thinking of maybe doing yeah yeah kind of excited for that (laughs) i'm gonna i'm definitely gonna try my best to not be an old lady and like not fall apart but it's it's completely on feel coming down with something or that all of all of that kind of stuff because i i I cannot get sick for the life of me i cannot get sick (laughs) so um Bring, I'm, like, I'm bring, like, bring, like, vitamin gummies or something. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to load up on drugs. I will be the house pharmacy because I'm going to bring, like... <laughs> You're the house pharmacy at the house first aid. <laughs> the next. I'm bringing the gamut because I refuse to get sick. If anyone gets sick, I'm making you wear a mask because <laughs> this is serious. <laughs> There's a lot of traveling happening. And yeah, I'm 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 gonna be nervous about it, but um, hopefully I, I haven't gotten sick at SDCC um, since we've traveled, so I'm hoping that continues my um, knocking on wood um, that that continues, um, but but we shall see. So it's all completely dependent on that. That being said, you guys, if if you guys feel totally up for it, I totally go did the night and y'all got into the panel. And did that whole thing to get the full experience. I'm not going to hold anybody back. I'll just be sleeping comfortably in the hotel room. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> and I'll just go to the show floor or whatever. Yeah, but, I'm, I'm undecided. Yeah. I'm undecided yeah. about the overnight thing. I'd like to say that at least once in my life I camped out overnight for a panel. But at the same time, I'm like, but then there's sleep. <laughs> You know, for me, I I keep a really odd sleeping schedule. Anyways, so for me, sleep yeah. is like my body doesn't even know anymore. Sure. Yeah. So for me, it's like I'll just bring like an eye mask or something, and whoever's with me will just like divvy up our backpacks. Like one backpack can hold all the pillows, the other one can hold all the blankets, and then another one can hold all whatever. I didn't go on beach together anyways, so. I actually bought, um, and I, I, I don't know, do you guys have the container store up at, in Canada? Nope. Okay. Well, um, I, I went to the container store and I, they had, um, a whole thing for their travel line right now. Nice. And they had a little zipper pouch, um, that's a blanket with a little pillow. Nice. So I went ahead and I bought that, um, and it was like, 20% off or something, so it ended up being, like, in the 20s. I think it's normally $30 or something. That's a good deal. But, um, so I ended up getting that just in case, because it is, like, yeah. small pack, so I can just stick that into my, um, my backpack that I usually carry for cons. But, um, um, that still doesn't, um, help with the hard surface we'll be sleeping on, but at least I'll have a warm blanket and pillow. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, that's, there's, that's the thing, like, I, she ended up camping on the floor, because there just wasn't enough beds, but she brought her own portable 
um, mattress mm-hmm. for that she uses for camping, and it's literally a, a, a thing of foam, and it's in the shape of a, a sleeping bag, but it's so thin that when you roll it up, it can actually fit inside a backpack. Mm. Like you can actually roll it up. Okay. And then when you unroll it, it, it lays flat. I have no idea where to get it, or we'll have to look into it, but I thought maybe I'll bring that. Can you ask her? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Ask me or I can Google something. To it. see um, where she got it anyway, and then... Yeah, totally. You know, at least... I don't know. I'll look into it to see if I can bring one, but at least... Or what we could do is take turns and shifts and be like, all right, <laughs> I'll stay in line for us for, like, the first God knows how many hours. And person and then five six a.m rolls around hopefully actually that's not not necessarily a bad idea because i i'm gonna be waking up let me see i normally i normally i've I've been waking up at 4 4 30 every morning central time so i'll be awake by two yeah um so yeah i don't i don't know we'll see we'll see how it goes anyway that's it's too early to tell (laughs) We, we still have to do our whole planning just to make sure that we're all on the same page. And we definitely recommend that, nerds. Um, definitely watch the Christian Milan uh, videos on YouTube. We'll, we'll provide a link um, in the post so that you guys can find those. He's got all the how-tos, all the tips and tricks, explanations of, about D23. It'll, this will be the first time that we're attending. And since it's a first con, we kind of we're working under the assumption that it was a normal type of con where we could just roll in line, have like standard lines, standard times, everything like that. But this is a completely different breed of con. And leave it to Disney to be different. <laughs> so, um, we are, I'm completely fucking terrified. <laughs> to be honest, but um, I'm hoping it'll all work out. I'm, I'm sure it'll be a magical thing. But um, I'm excited. Although there were a couple of videos that I've seen, not Christian Milan's videos, but um, a couple of videos, blog videos from um, this girl who who bought the Sorcerer's Pass. And for those of you who don't know, Sorcerer's Pass is basically the most expensive ticket you can get for D23. It's like their VIP ticket. It's like twenty five hundred dollars usd per ticket what yeah yeah it's expensive but you get panels as long as you apparently you you download the app and you can basically like about 15 30 minutes before panel starts you'd be like i want to be in on this panel so here's my seat i want the seat and you can reserve seating you also get a fireworks show and like a special welcome dinner and a, it's sort of like their version of preview night. You can run around the showroom floor, buy all your merch on Thursday. That way you don't have to go shopping for the rest of the week. You can, you have early access to all the limited edition stuff. So you can buy all that stuff first before you, before the actual concert. So like there's a whole bunch of like, um, um, special perks that goes with it, but then again, you are paying twenty around twenty five hundred USD, give or take. Well, that's what like if if I'm paying twenty five hundred dollars, like I would expect the hotel room, mm-hmm. and a toilet, bathroom, right? And yeah, uh, I think this does not include a hotel room. Pretty okay. sure it doesn't, okay. but it's just for the um, you you get like you know how um all the cast members they have their names written on a the oval yeah you get one too okay interesting but um yeah so you have your own separate line you get you're the first group to go in ahead of gold members right so you get to go in like two hours ahead because i think gold members get to go in an hour before so sorcerers people get to go in two hours before i believe and then you have your own separate line but then apparently according to her she's like if you're just there for panels, then it's worth it because at least you get like the really good seats. Right. 
and you you get you you get like first dibs on everything. If you're there to go for shopping, like all the limited edition stuff, mm, it's up to yeah. You wait for some of them and line up right. to get like and and it's by luck if you line up early enough to get it. So so in that case, it's probably not worth it to get the sorcerer's pass. Sure, but. It's, she said, it's definitely something that you should try once. Yeah. But I figure, you know what, for us, it's the first time we're just there for the general layout yeah. and stuff. Like, yeah. it's pop- and she said, like, if you're just there for general, just see a little bit of everything, not worth it. So I'm like, I'm glad we didn't go that route. But at the same time, I'm kind of sad that it's like, no, oh, that means we have to line up super duper early in the morning. Yeah, you know, for all these panels and stuff, or even overnight. Whereas if you get the sorcerer's pass, you basically bypass all that. Right. But we'll see. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so sorcerer's pass. Well, you know, if you if you get the money, do it. Yeah, but for cosplay, apparently, like they segregate you too. Sorcerer's players, because this this girl, she's also a cosplayer, so she she'll like do Disney bound and she'll cosplay. But she's she's noticed that people who bought the Sorcerer's Pass, at least back in 2015, at the last expo, um, a lot of the people in the Sorcerer's group, they don't cosplay, so she felt kind of odd. Mm-hmm. And there's like, she wanted to like mingle and meet other cosplayers and, and they were segregated away from the main crowd, quote unquote. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Well, so there's different options for everyone to enjoy just depending on your goals. And that's basically what Christian Milan has also said in his videos, where it's like, you just, you have to see what your goal is, and then you have a better understanding of, of um, what ticket you need and all that jazz. I think Saturday's already sold out, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, um, we upgraded. Uh, yeah, we upgraded. I'm glad we did, though, because... Yeah, I'm glad we did, too. Now we mm-hmm. get a chance to uh, at least be on the main floor of panels if we get in. Right, right. Because so, general members and non-members are upstairs. Yeah. In the main hall. Right. Um, I'm excited, generally, just because it is... I'm excited and nervous because it's, it's going to be a brand-new experience. It's going to be a brand-new con. Um, this is going to be my... Um, Kind of not necessarily last, but um, last for a while yeah. uh, con season in Cali, just because um, I have other travel priorities and uh, traveling to California every year is getting expensive. Ditto. So um, <laughs> our blog is not yet for profit, nerds. So um, if you would like to donate money. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, so I'm, I'm generally excited for the brand new experience. Obviously I'm excited that a bunch of us nerds from the nerdy nerd HQ crew are all going to be going as well. Um, but as far as, um, things in the convention itself, um, I am always excited for the vendors and seeing as how this is all Disney themed and we are basically in Disney Mecca. I'm extremely excited to see what kind of art I can get my hands on. Granted, I can't spend too much money, but um, I will get one or two pieces. We can, we can, uh, for the most part, admire from afar. <laughs> too true. Mm-hmm. Too. <laughs> but I will get one or two pieces. <laughs> oh yeah, there's, there's no doubt. I would probably splurge. Yes. And the fact that her universe is going to be doing this D23 exclusive. Okay, I am. I'm staying away from that. <laughs> I am. Oh, I'm already crying just thinking about it. Damn it, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we like, love oh you. my god. We love you. We love you. Yes. Why did you have to mention it? <laughs> yeah. So, um, okay, so besides that, um, we are definitely planning um, to go to Disneyland uh, the Monday after D23 before we take the train down to San Diego. So at Disneyland, the number one thing I'm looking forward to is the food. The number one thing Janine is looking forward to is the food. (laughs) 
dang right it is. Because I mean, I still need my beignets, man. Yeah. I don't want to have my beignets. I need my Dole Whip. I need my churro. I need my birthday. <laughs> because priorities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn straight priorities. Yeah. Food. So. Oh! But again, um, baby group bread <laughs> thingies. Oh, yes. What was it? Pretzel? No, it's like, it's this, it's this bread. It's basically bread. I, th- I think that's what it is. Like, it could be bread, sweet bread, maybe. Okay. But it's ginormous. It's the size of your face. Okay, we're definitely splitting that. <laughs> yeah. It's the size of your face, and it's, it's, it looks like group. Yeah. So. Well, I definitely, I, I, for, for the life of me, I need, I need to try a Dole Whip. We talked about that, like, last time, and I never got one. So, we need to get one. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so, Jams, what's your number one for Disneyland? Aside from the food, which I'm also looking forward to. <laughs> um, <laughs> We're just all about the food, people. <laughs> I am looking forward to the Summer of Heroes and the whole um, Guardians of the Galaxy setup that they've got going on the Tower of Terror. And seeing what else they have for the Summer of Heroes. Nice. Shall be fun. Plus, it'll be really fun going with all of our nerds again. So, mm-hmm. it's always fun. Okay, so then on Tuesday, we're training down to San Diego. And um, we have a few um, events that uh, we still need to hear about. I'm hoping we can get into the Her Universe fashion show, but that hasn't been posted yet. But it'll be really nice to actually get a chance to do that. Usually when we've gone to San Diego, Nerd HQ has always been our priority. And unfortunately, um, as we've mentioned in a previous podcast, Nerd HQ is not happening this year. But um, Zach will be there and he will be hosting, is it sci-fi? Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, he's yeah. hosting um, the sci-fi parties that are happening, I think, a couple nights, actually. So I think he's going to be hosting a few nights of their party. So we're hoping to make an feel like a little bit of an HQ hurrah. Mm-hmm. Um, we still have quite a, a big group of HQ nerds that are going down to San Diego, even though there is no HQ. And a bunch of people do not have an SDCC badge, so we're going to be roaming around and checking all the off-site stuff. So, nerds, please do know that you can go down to San Diego and enjoy um, events that are outside of SDCC without necessarily having an SDCC badge. Um, Jams and I have a day pass for SDCC. Yeah. Um, that's just how we roll, because it's, it's an overwhelming thing. Um, we don't necessarily have to be there the entire weekend. Uh, a day is enough for Jams and I, because that's just how we do. Yep. Um, <laughs> Rich has three days. Yep. Um, and, uh, yeah, so let's see. I think DC is still the vendors, because that's just, that's my favorite thing. Like, I like, I, I just enjoy seeing what fans do with their creativity. And to me, it's just seeing, like, a lovely piece of art um, that's their interpretation of their nerdiness and love for a particular topic or genre or fandom or whatever is always exciting to me. So I'm looking forward to that. There's a few vendors or artists that um, are our regular visits, like Lord Mesa, and um, I always forget her name. What's her name? Which one? The, the chick that did the, the Doctor Who art and mm-hmm. um, the Tangled portrait that we bought for, like, everyone last year. Um, Alice. Yeah. Alice, thank Al- you. Alice. Zhang? Alice Zhang, I think, yeah. Sounds right. Zang. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But the first name is definitely Alice. But she's awesome. Um, and then Karen, obviously. Mm-hmm. And uh, Brandon. So Lord Mason. Wait. Still needs to sign my uh, my uh, your stitch. My stitch and BB-8. Yeah. 
Are you going to bring that so that he can sign it? <sighs> Probably should, huh? That can bring up a I can bring a poster wall thing, too, with me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That way you're pre- prepared for when you get more stuff. Right? Because um, I know that we'll be getting more stuff. Undoubtedly. Um, <laughs> and then, of course, there is Funko. Mm-hmm. So... I will be saving my monies at D23. Sorry, D23. But um, I've got Funko priorities for SCCC. Mainly the Okapi and the Dean and Baby. Mm-hmm. And potentially the Luna. Those are my babies for SDCC. Um, I'm that Funko will be doing D23 exclusives too. I heard, and I'm staying away. We just don't know what it is. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I'd rather not know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, James, what's your number one SDCC? Um, as far as at SDCC itself, I agree. The vendors and the artist alley. Um, but outside of the con, I'm looking forward to possibly going to at least one taping of the Conan O'Brien show. Because... Mm. Rich and I have talked about doing that every year since we've gone, and we've just always had other priorities that took place that we couldn't go, so Mm. I've requested tickets to all four showings, and we'll see how many we actually end up going to. Yay! All the fingers crossed. I really, really want that White Walker pop. Mm Mm-hmm. The White Walker pop, the Jedi one I want. I want the Flash. I want the Jedi one, because, you know, me and Star Wars. The Flash, it's not the WB Flash. Because mm. it is, it's got that weird crotch thing <laughs> that they did to his costume. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> it's, it's just a weird, it's just weird. It looks like a leotard. <laughs> that division there. Anyway. Well... Technically, it is a one-piece leotard. Meh. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so Jen, what's your number one SDCC thing? Uh, seeing everybody. Aww. Because, like you said, it's, for the most part, everybody's sort of last hurrah before taking a break and doing other things. So... You know, getting to see all all of our nerd fam, nerd family, a little bit, yeah, for a little bit, yeah, mm-hmm. and then um, um, and uh, looking forward to uh the bloggers dinner that that uh is being hosted by, I don't even know, is it is it Corgi? Is Corgi hosting it? Corgi always organizes it, but yeah, yeah, because Corgs is is the best. Yes. He is amazing. He's he's uh, one of our favorites up there, along with Nerd Fu and you know Englishman. They're they're all great great people. And this is the time we only get to see each other. It's like once a year. Yep. Yeah. You know, so that's that's what I'm looking forward to. SCCC. Yeah. yeah. It'll, it'll it'll be good to have dinner with the food tank clan. Yeah. So it's like. You know, granted, it would have been it would have been awesome to have Nerd HQ as our home base again this year, but it's no sin. Yep. There's some there's some rumblings in the air for other things. Indeed. That uh, we'll try to we'll try to get to and experience, and even though it's not official, I'm sure they have something up their sleeve. Oh sure, mm-hmm. yeah, for sure. You know, that'll be somewhat somewhat similar to what we're used to, even though it's not like the full-fledged Nerd HQ, but... Right. Yeah. A small, small inkling of HQ. I'm actually wondering if Zach will, will plan like some sort of mini thing in Austin at some point, in which case I can get all y'all down here. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you mention to him to put it in uh, April? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, if, 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 back, back. <laughs> in all honesty, if if he ends up planning something, it'll probably be during um Austin Fan Expo. Um, oh. and early. Um, days, Zach. 
<laughs> I can't really remember when that usually falls during the year. It's either in it's either in the spring or it's in the fall. So it might be in like September or something. I'm not entirely sure. Hang on, I'm looking but it up. Who knows? Now. Who knows? I mean, Are the dates out yet? I have no idea because I I typically don't go. I usually just go to Dallas. Because I think that actually I don't even know if it's Fan Expo or if it's Wizard World. Austin. It may be Wizard World. Do, 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 do. November 17, 18, 19 of this year. Is it Wizard or Fan? Wizard World. Okay, yeah. Fan Expo. I don't even know if they have a Fan Expo. They have S. Oh, you. Yeah. That's South by Southwest. Yeah, South by South by Southwest, yes. Don't even think about that one. We'll never get tickets. <laughs> I've lived here my whole life and I've never been able to go. <laughs> well, that one's from March 8th, 16th to 18th. He'll definitely, he'll probably definitely go to South by Southwest, but um, I, I don't know if, you know. They, Austin, Austin does not have Fan Expo. They have da- uh, that's Wizard. Dallas. Okay, cool. Yeah, Austin is Wizard World. Yeah. So, but anywho. Um, so yeah, that's, those are the main things that we're looking forward to the most. And, um, if you guys are going to either D23 or SCCC or both, like we are, cause we're crazy, mm-hmm. um, let us know and, uh, let us know what you're looking forward to and be on the lookout. We've got three cosplays. Oh, right. <laughs> yes. yes. So we are being like, we're completely deranged and <laughs> decided to do three cosplays this year because, because we're we were crazy. like sure we started planning them at the end of um SDC last, last year yep and <laughs> and uh yeah because we're completely crazy we were like sure we can handle three cosplays and um yeah so we'll see how that goes <laughs> But, um, yeah. 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 So we do have, they're all Disney themed, basically. Um, two traditionally Disney and one, um, superhero. But since I said Disney, you can pretty much guess it's Marvel. (laughs) Um, and, um, yeah. So keep an eye out. We'll, closer to, we'll start posting pictures and whatnot. Um, Maybe uh, Jams will do a little how-to for one particular item that she made, and oh, we'll share anything about her how-tos because she she went all out and made like a shit ton of stuff for her for her stuff. I, on the <laughs> other hand, was lazy and just bought stuff. But, I, I, um... took, I took some photos. I could probably um, give them to Jams to if you want to do like a collab post or something. Jams that sounds that sounds good. Like, do a little, That's a good idea. Yeah, I like a little that. write-up. Thingy. I can provide links for the stuff that I bought if anyone wants to match them. Basically, my strategy every time we do a cosplay is I come up with a vision, and then usually I don't really – the vision usually does not come out, let's face it, because after a certain point in the year, I get fed up, and I'm like, screw this. Good enough. <laughs> Forget it. I'm done. <laughs> I am done making this costume. <laughs> I'm not doing it anymore. That is my plan. Every <laughs> time. So yeah, it looks really good though. So so yeah, so we'll do the some some posting and stuff um later on. And um obviously it'll be a little quiet. Um during our travels but we'll be very active on social media but the blog itself will probably be re- really quiet until after we get back and start doing our, our regular posts so we'll be out from july 13th until 24th thank you for knowing that because i don't <laughs> um so there's that and um yeah we'll put all our, all our social media links there too because Indeed. i'm still debating whether or not to do this I might, I might access our Snapchat. <laughs> yes, nerds, we do have Snapchat that yeah. we just don't use. <laughs> but uh, I, I might, I might, I might crack open our Snapchat, maybe. 
more power to you. <laughs> but, yeah. I, I might so, try. Okay. I might try my hand at doing um, some Facebook Live because we've done Periscope before, but we haven't tried Facebook Live yet. I think I only did one Facebook Live when we did the beach last year, but that's like the only Facebook Live that I ever did mm-hmm. on our thingy. So. We might as well give it a gamut. I'm sure a lot of people would be interested to see D23, or the inner workings of it anyway. Yeah, and and of course, we will definitely do Instagram because, yeah. Sure, mm-hmm. yeah, a lot of photographic opportunities. Granted, we cannot take videos of the panels at D23. That is extremely un- not allowed because yeah. Disney is secretive and mysterious that way. Yes, so... unless you have a sorcerer's pass, then apparently you can take some photos. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So, at least that's my understanding because the girl I was, the the vlogger I was watching, like her videos, the the one who bought the sorcerer's pass, she had some photos from the Legends yeah. Award ceremony thingy. Gotcha. Okay. Well, so I was very curious about that. Well, but case, we can't show anything about panels, but we right. can show you everything else. Indeed. Okay. Yep. So, um, yeah, so we'll do our best to show as much as we possibly can without getting kicked out. That's basically the gist. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But, all right, so we will talk to you guys later, and have a a fabulous nerdy day. Bye. Bye! Bye!